Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit that subscribe button down below. And let's get right to it. And I bring you a story this time that is just sickening. You've had all these cases. You had a few cases that I've, I've, I've highlighted here. From the rapist in California who got three months for raping a woman. Caught raping a woman. The pedophile who molested a, a, a young child and got no time for it because of his age and people saying he wouldn't reoffend. It happens time and time again where people harm children or harm other people and they get no time. They serve no time. Like yeah, sure. They wait they have they have to sit in jail during their during their trial, but then they're released right away. And I, and this happens to be another one of those cases. It pisses me off. I can't believe this is our justice system. But let's get into it. Back in 2016, Natalia Caria was a babysitter in Minneapolis. A man dropped off his son and happened to discover a toddler was hanging from a noose, a damn noose, in the basement. The 16-year-old, the 16-month-old survived. Thank God. But the woman pled guilty to attempted murder of the child, third degree assault and criminal vehicular operation of a, of a motor vehicle for hitting a pedestrian, a bicyclist, and another driver, as well as striking another driver down the road and dragging them for 10 blocks. 10 blocks. All that. And then you, you definitely look at the fact that she hung a child hung a child, let me repeat that a third time, hung a child by a noose. What did she serve? That's right. She got t considered time served and a 10-year probation sentence. They called this a perfect storm of factors, according to the judge. Judge Quam um, said about her actions that the perfect storm of factors unlikely to never be repeated took place. Now this woman spent thirty or twenty months in jail, and she'll get credit for time served. The prosecution was asking for thir a thirteen-year pr prison sentence. Now Karia. The woman who hung, again, hung a child in a noose, told, spoke about how her husband had abused her and assaulted her and threatened to kill her since they came, to, came from Ukraine in 2006. Those are excuses, people. Those are excuses. I don't give a damn what her husband was, was doing. Okay? If her husband was doing that, she should have left or seeked help. But there is no excuse, no excuse at all, to place a child's neck in a noose and hang them in your freaking basement. There is absolutely no excuse for those actions. I don't care if her husband was threatening to kill her, had been abusive. I don't care if she dropped her, her hot coffee on her that morning. I don't care if she stubbed her toe on her way down to the basement. I don't give a dang what this woman did, what this woman was going, going on in her life. That gives her absolutely zero excuse to hang a child. But this is our justice system. You smoke pot, you go away for 10, 15 years. 
You hang a child and almost kill them? And almost kill other people? And you get probation. If this does not piss you off, I don't know what will. She says she just wants to explain what happened and her children need her. Yeah, an attempted murderer. Yeah, your children need somebody that's going to kill them. She says she didn't want to place the blame on her husband, but she sure was using that excuse. And it says, um, Prosecutor Christina Warren had asked for a 13-year prison sentence, expressing doubts that Caria can receive the supervision she needs. And, and it goes on to say here, instead of being a person most able and willing to protect the boy from harm, she left him hanging by a noose around his neck in her basement. I'm at a loss for words. I, I, I'm completely at a loss for words. Clearly, we no longer give a damn about children. We don't care about children anymore in this world. Clearly, we don't. This sickens me. The belief in our, in our justice system for me is gone. I thought all those, maybe they were just, you know, things that happened out in California a few times, especially with the the um, Stanford rapist. Because most of the cases I'd heard about had come out of California. But now, this is in Minneapolis. This isn't even there. So, obviously, it's just how our justice system works nowadays. If you're a child and someone harms you, clearly... There's going to be no punishment for it. Clearly, there's no punishment. There are other crimes that you can commit that hurt nobody. And you can get 10, 15, 20 years for it. For being caught with a certain amount of marijuana in certain states, you can go away for a long, long time. But you hurt a child? Who cares, huh? Something has got to change. Something has got to change. We are failing our children in this country. We are letting pedophiles walk free on the streets. We are letting rapists walk free on the streets. We are letting child abusers walk free on our streets. And allowing them to go home to children... I feel sorry for the child who was hung in that basement. Thank thank God that father showed up. And thank God he was there when he did, or that child would have died. This woman is scum of the earth. You know, I have a lot there's a lot of things out there that can piss me off, but hurting children, that's the top of that's the top of the mountain right there. You want to hurt children? You want to try and kill children? Then you deserve jail time. Now, I don't know if Donald Trump's idea about about pedophiles uh, being, you know, being put to death is a is a great idea. But we've at least got to do something. We need to at least put them in prison. If you harm harm children, you should go to prison. Case closed. There was no question of if this woman did this or not. She pled guilty. She should have gone to prison. Period. But no. Ten years probation and time served. And she might have to wear an ankle bracelet. Not she guaranteed she will, but she might have to wear an ankle bracelet for two months after she leaves, leaves, leaves the, the county jail. I can't believe this is what we have come to in this country. I will never understand it. 
We have got to fight for stronger laws against people that harm children. Or people that abandon children. Or whatever. If you are violent to a child, you murder a child, you rape a child, you abuse a child, you neglect a child, you should go to prison. If you abuse a child and you attempted murder, you should go for a long time. If you murder them, if you murder a child, you should go, you should get the death penalty. Period. End of sentence. If you abuse them, you should be gone. You should not breathe the same air that I breathe. And I, that goes for, I don't care what kind of abuse it is. I don't care if it's neglect. I don't care if it's, uh, you know, like beating or sexual abuse. I don't give two shits. You abuse a child in any way, shape, or form, harm a child at all, you should go away. It should be a long time till you see the light of day again. And I don't just mean 20 months in a county lockup. I mean 15, 20 years in prison. Children are the most delicate of everything on this earth. Children are the future. And harming children harms their future and harms our future as a society. Anyhow, this has been the Big Grand Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck. And if this kind of stuff pisses you off, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you down the road. <laughs>